Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I'm bringing you along in the day in the life of an ER nurse. Here we go. Good morning. So I usually start my day around 7.20, 7.30. Um, I don't go to work until 9 so I get to sleep in and play with the dog. I'm the type of person who needs to start my day every day with a cup of coffee, so this is what I'm doing. I just reheat it because usually we have some made either from the day before or um, from that morning. Don't mind my cupboards. I know they're all off right now, but since we're in quarantine right now, my boyfriend's off of work, so he is doing a project, sanding them down and painting them white. So that's exciting. So after I finish my cup of coffee, I take my dog on a walk, just a 20 to 30 minute walk in the morning um, and I like to take this time to myself listen to a podcast I'm listening to Skinny Confidential and yeah it kind of gets my body going in the morning so when I get back I lay out my scrubs I take a shower and I just kind of get ready for the day brush my teeth I put some moisturizer on my face. And then I start my makeup. I like to go natural at work, so I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I also love the Maybelline Fit Me powder. As well as a little bronzer and a little bit of blush. Then I'm adding a little bit of highlighter and some brow gel. This is also a Maybelline one. Just adding a shimmery shadow and then some mascara. So I find that my N95 fits me the best when my hair is up in a bun. So this is what I'm doing and I also want to keep it out of my face and keep it out of all the germs. So here I am packing my lunch, an RX bar, a yogurt, two oranges, a banana, and a stuffed bell pepper that I made. So I keep all my work stuff in the garage, my shoes, my bag, my N95 and masks and everything. My water bottle, I have a designated water bottle for work. I just don't want to risk cross contaminating. Um, I keep it all in the garage and yeah. So I wanted to show you what's in the paper bag. No, it's not my lunch. It's my N95. We get one until it's soiled and we got fitted to that one um, at my hospital. I know there's a shortage in the world right now on PPE. So someone donated this really cute fabric mask. So that's what I wear over my N95 to protect it. And as well as some eyewear. 
just showing them off. So I heard Starbucks is giving out free tall coffees to every frontline worker right now. So I took advantage of it and it was so easy. She just handed it to me and it was so quick. So yeah, super grateful for Starbucks for that one. So I headed to work, clocked in, and yeah, I don't film at work unless I'm on break. So this was my first break. I was super sweaty. I just needed to breathe because wearing that mask sucks. Um, I'm eating a bar and a leftover sandwich. So after a while, I got on my lunch break and I wanted to show you guys these positive quotes all over the hospital windows. Like seriously, these are so cute and they honestly lift my soul up. So I didn't end up eating my stuffed bell pepper, but a restaurant actually donated some tamales to the ER. So, so thankful for that. They smelled so good and here's me eating them. Super anxious to eat them. Um, I got a chicken one and a pork one and I'm just putting some taco sauce all over them. Hot sauce. They were super good and so I had a little bit of a dessert. Um, just my yogurt flip cup and I always like to get some air so I took the long way back um, outside and it's super refreshing. Random side note, I found two white hairs popping out of my bun. This job is stressful. <laughs> so I was nearing the end of my shift so I took my last break and wiped down everything with disinfectant wipes. I took all my gear off and don't at me for taking my 95 off wrong this is how they taught me to do it so this is how I'm doing it and then I found the cutest surgical masks made in the break room as well as a yummy cookie and yeah that was it. I basically clocked out, drove home. So I leave my shoes, all my stuff in the garage. I strip down naked. I put all my stuff in the laundry right away and I go take a shower. So thank you guys all so much for the positive words right now. I know it's a scary time and we all just need to be positive, stay healthy, stay home. I linked the CDC and WHO down below for more information on the pandemic. If you guys have any surgical medical supplies, please donate it to your local hospital. Everyone is in need right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and like, subscribe, comment down below. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.